them one more time. Yoshihara leading to Gucci in the chase position. What do we have? Dai Yoshihara initiating no further than that 3 2 1 cone and Dai brings it all the way around, gets into the dirt to Gucci right there. Was there contact made? I definitely want to take a look at the Air Force instant replay. Into the keyhole, into that second outside zone to Gucci. Drops back a bit as Dai brings it around and out of the keyhole. Past the touch and go, dragging their bumper right and hovering over that gator strip and across the finish line. I want to see that. We're in here since 2019, and here we go. No cones were hit in the making of this run. Taguchi up front, Yoshihara in the chase position. Let's see how they initiate. Taguchi, a slow roller into it. So you talk about that rate to angle, Ryan. Not super fast, but does get to it. And Taguchi, very fluid, coming to that second outside zone, gets out there. Just dips the toe and doesn't, oh, and then he, look, he did that yesterday in qualifying as well. Got to that second outer zone, but then overshoots that inside clip. Now past that touch and go, good job by Taguchi. Shredding that back bumper as they bring it around that final clip run. Six, Kazuya out front. Pollock in that chase position. All right, Kazuya Taguchi initiating. Justin Pollock mimicking that angle, coming to that first front clip. Kazuya Taguchi, wow, look at that. Really ripping, gripping up the hill into those Gator Rumble strips. Now in that second outside zone, not as deep as we saw. And we started things off really aggressively. You saw how deep field and Chelsea went, so you saw that. But look at Pollock, great composure in that chase position. You saw him really mimicking the angle, giving himself enough room where he kind of won to Kazuya Taguchi's going to chase him down. Let's see this initiation. He likes to go for the backies. Oh, that's, that's pretty. That's pretty. I like it. Let's go, JTP. Kazuya Taguchi, look at him. He throws on the grappling hook. Doesn't mimic the angle, but definitely gets out. So look at Justin Paul. He gets deeper in that second outside zone. Tightens up to that front clip. Now exiting out of the keyhole. How are they going to handle that? Both of them getting into the dirt. Quickly to that touch and go. And then that final last inside clip. Great job by both of them, Ryan. I would say that. You know, I really liked, Kazuya looks really comfortable in that oh, boy. Here we go, Kazuya Taguchi, Adam LZ. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, Adam LZ in that Nitto tire. BC Racing, S15, Sylvia, Kazuya. Oh, oh, and Adam LZ spins out. Wheel to wheel. Wheel to wheel, cheek to cheek, face to face. Oh, man, we're, we, are, we are minus that back bumper, minus the taillights. As Adam LZ doing it for the rage, the little rage he is looking for Kazuya Taguchi to make a mistake, and LZ needs to have a really gangster run in this LZ S15. Right now, that's a good start. Kazuya Taguchi not as high as Adam LZ. And this is sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. As Kazuya Taguchi dives down on the inside, he taps that second inside clip. Adam LZ in the crease. But Ryan, as good as that lead run was, it just does not Gucci, E. Meyer, clean start. And away they send it. All right, Kazuya Taguchi high on the bank. E. Meyer a little bit lower. See how they handle it? To the flat bottom. And into that second inside clip. A lot of chase drivers taking that second inside clip out. Whoa, and E. Meyer goes off course and gets thrown off as Kazuya Taguchi. Nope, all right, here we go. Kazuya Taguchi with that match, with that major advantage. Eve Meyer goes high, Kazuya, oh, in that brand new vehicle. Nice job by Eve so far. Kazuya coming in on the inside, barely wraps it around that second inside clip. It's a little sketchy there for Kazuya in that chase. Yeah. There we go. But it looks like he held. Energy drink, Nitto tire, Toyota GR Supra. Frederick Alco initiates a massive gap between Osmo and Kazuya Taguchi, the up garage, ISR 86. Now coming to the flat mode. Oh, Kazuya. That's not where you want to go. I, I, I believe that might have been four, right? I mean, that, that, was, that was way off course. So I just put Taguchi there. out front. Frederick Osmo in that chase position. Is he going to throw it in and go for the gusto? He's going to kind of pedal back and save some in the tank to just make sure that he gets the job done. Oh, boy. Oh, Kazuya Taguchi. Exit stage left. 
So that VR power Toyota 86. So uh, Oswald finishes out the course. Just want to make sure. Was he Taguchi out front? Let's see how Taguchi throws down. Dan Burkett initiates a little bit early, setting him up on the inside line. Now into the second outside zone. There goes Kazuya Taguchi, and there you go. Lonte was talking about that. If you just get out to where the other lead driver is, you're going to be consistent with that lead driver. And past that inside clip, Taguchi and Burkett. And into that final outside zone, right? Yeah, see these drivers. Out gear wrench, Toyota Supra. And the chase car, Kazuya, did hit the cone, but it's all about the lead car hitting the cones. And there goes Dan Burkett. Whoa, big angle here from Dan Burkett. And that got a little interesting there. It looks like Dan Burkett maxed out the angle, but I'm going to have to look at that again. It, you know, did Dan almost come to a halt? So this is this is getting interesting. This is kind of wacky here. Yeah. Don't 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 slam it. Don't save your car. Well, Taguchi's not is not to pass anywhere um, except for an inside clip if right. the driver overshoots it. But I think in this lights underneath the vehicles. And here comes Kazuya Taguchi in that lead position, filling all that zone. Nice job by Kazuya. Bit of a shallow angle there from from actually both the drivers. Excuse me. And now into the outer zone. Look at Alec Robbins. Yeah, being from Minnesota, he's got the snow, he's got the wet, and now he's got the good chase run. Past that inside clip, Kazuya Taguchi, flames shooting out of the hood, and unfortunately, Robin takes a shallow line there, but I, I like 350Z from Becker, Minnesota. And here comes Robbins. Definitely an aggressive driver last year, temper in the flame. Literally cooling it down here in the wet, but still phenomenal placement of that Nissan Z. And here goes, look at that, just hangs it out to dry. And then around that front clip, you can see Kazuya Taguchi taking out that front clip. Oh, and then Robin once again, so even in the lead position, takes that shallow line, just having a tough time. Maybe a little nerve wracking looking at that. Forsberg initiates behind Taguchi into that outside zone. Well, big angle from Chris. Yeah, massive angle from Chris. Taguchi takes a little bit out of it, going to that second outside zone. Look at how deep Taguchi is. That up garage ISR 86. Chris Forsberg pulls out of that outside zone a little bit. Ooh. Oh, man, just barely slipping around. Slithering like a snake. Forsberg taking a very shallow line. I'd love to see. We do see the drone up in the sky. Sticking around still waterlogged. Put a smile on your face. Here we go. Chris Forsberg comes into that first outside zone. Taguchi right there in that up garage ISR 86. The NOS Energy Drink Nissan oh. 370. Zia Taguchi. Look at that proximity. Oh, is he banging doors? Tapping that brake light. Chris Forsberg stays in it. He might have something broken. A shallower line here from Taguchi. They bring it around that inside clip and now transferring into that final outside zone. See Forsberg filling all of it, and Taguchi, you can see him just firing on it, trying to avoid some contact, it keeping be that a good competitive battle, but also because it's the first time we're seeing dry since Friday, uh, it's hard to say exactly what will happen. Here we go, because we have Taguchi initiates a lot higher there than Simon Olsen as he maintains the height. And Simon Olsen now drops in to that second outside zone. Quite a distance back. He really gripped up on that transition, that flick in the second outside zone. Now approaching that third outside zone. Simon Olsen again lost in smoke. Kazuya Taguchi shredded that bumper skin as he brings it all the way through. Very consistent. Simon Olsen not part of the equation. And I'm looking at this, and it looks like they're yellow and black zebras. Kazuya Taguchi, a yellow. All right, blending into those cones there, both the vehicles. Now let's initiate that first outside zone. Kazuya Taguchi does need to have an active chase. And Simon Olsen, like you said, he's doing exactly what he needs to do. Really pushes for it, tries to drag that bumper on the wall, and that second outside zone really exceeds the edge of that line. You can't hit the cone, but he went tires off. That's what that's what really counts when it comes to judging. We'll have to take a look at that Ryan walk us through on the instant replay as Simon Olsen and Kazuya Taguchi bring it across the finish line. This is a comparative battle looking at both runs in both positions from I can't leave at any time. Here we go. Kazuya Taguchi initiates. Look at that, Travis Reeder right there. 
on the door of Kazuya Taguchi. Taguchi, great angle from him. Reader transitions. Oh, and Reader spins out where he did on his first qualifying run as Kazuya Taguchi continues through the course. And this will be a major advantage as long as he keeps it there. And he does. So unfortunately for Reader, he is. And he shuts it down. It's going to be an incomplete. We see Taguchi getting through that run without making a major mistake. And so he will have an advantage going into run number two. Yeah, as you said, Ryan, that's the, that crease, the transition coming off the bank into that second outside zone. That's what threw him off yesterday in his first qualifying run. So I, I said it knocks him out. What I meant is he could potentially knock himself out with that mistake. So now Reader will lead. He's really hoping that Kazuya Taguchi makes a mistake in that chase position. Here comes that link engine management BMW. Now into that first outside zone. Aggressive initiation from Reader. But you can see him slowly inching his way down the embankment. A wider line approaching into that second outside zone. Kazuya Taguchi looks like he finds the right spot to put it at. And you got to imagine Reader saying, mess up, mess up. But Kazuya does not. He rises to the occasion, hence the name Up Garage. Battle of the Great Eight, Kazuya Taguchi and Chelsea Denofa. Kazuya initiates in that first outside zone. And Chelsea Denofa giving himself some room. Let's see how Kazuya handles this. Up Garage, ISR 86. Now into that second outside zone. Kazuya Taguchi absolutely delivering this track, really favoring his driving style. And all the way through that final outside zone. Yeah, I got to tell you, a great lead run by Cohen's Mustang RTR Spec 5D. Chelsea Nova initiates. Great angle from Chelsea Nova. Now Chelsea flexing his muscles out front. Kazuya had a great lead run, but Chelsea was maybe tempering the flame as now they go to that second outside zone. Transition that final outside zone goes Chelsea. There's that bumper budget that the RTR team always talks about. Chelsea Nova. Clicking another bank, another uh, bumper in that bank. Seems what like people are think? starting to get the hang of the course now. <laughs> yeah, it got really interesting early on. It, Position what, what, spread where? between Kazuya Taguchi and Ken Gushi. And now let's get to the battle. Kazuya Taguchi leading the up garage ISR 86. Kazuya Taguchi in chase position, that great Toyota Gazoo Racing Supra. Kazuya a lot higher there. We're going to need Ken Gushi again, like the judges said, where those lead tires are in that rear position. Look, Kazuya hanging out really hard and long. Man, that thing was hung out to dry for quite a bit, Ryan, as Kazuya Taguchi so has a wide swing, but he does tighten it up, kind of a wider apex as Ken Gushi, you can see him going beeline towards that last outside zone. Some hiccups, really like some to see the results of his hard work. Here we go. As Ken Gushi will lead, and we got a clean start here with that Toyota Gazoo race. Whoa, Kazuya! Look at that, almost marking his door with a little rubber tattoo. As Ken Gushi would like to see Kazuya a little bit higher, but Gushi takes that proper line into that power alley. Looks like Gushi says, "All right, enough messing around. I'm going to throw it down here." For my town into that final outside zone right in front of the fans. Big angle there from Gushi and Kazuya. Great proximity. Ryan, your thoughts here? Well, what's pretty apparent I, is uh, I, I'd like to say do one one more time and that's it. Okay. Not the endless, the never ending story. I don't want to betray you. Here we go. Ken Gushi, Kazuya Taguchi. And look at that. Taguchi, he might. Oh, that's going to be an incomplete. Wow, look at this. So Ken Shiro Gushi might be given a gift. Now remember, Gushi does need to complete the entirety of this run because Taguchi is the chase driver. The lead driver need to, needs to continue on. And it looks like Gushi is one, two, three, four, five seconds away. Battle and remember, Gushi having that problems. Thank you, Jen. As Kazuya Taguchi, looks like Gushi now gets close. Taguchi. Nice and high on the bank. We are seeing good proximity, but Gushi does need to get a little higher. He does that right there towards the latter portion of the track. Set him up for the power alley. Surging forward to the side of Taguchi, actually exceeding the front nose of that vehicle. Throws him a bit offline on that inside clip, and Taguchi digs deep. Gushi just a little bit shallower. So good, exciting. Was it dialed? I definitely cleaned up from Ken oh, no, Gushi. On how well he is driving. Again, qualifying 10th. Kazuya into that outside zone. Rome Charpentier jumps to the side of him. 
So a lot of confidence in Kazuya Taguchi from Rome. Around that inside clip. Rome doesn't get all the way out to that third outside zone, but definitely aggressive right now. Really good run for both these drivers. Really good run. So you got to give it back to them in regards to the chase and give that proximity. Chase them down. I think it's really going to be one, and we've been talking about it all day, and Ryan talked about it, that transition from outside zone two. And look at this. See, Kazuya's backing up. Let's see that outside zone two transition, how fluid or not into outside zone three going past the inside clip. Really well done by both the guys. As now we transition that final outside zone. And that, uh, did you smell that coming? I, I, I honestly, Falcon tires, the drift cave, head cave man, nasty snap into that outside zone. Vortex supercharger winding it up into that second outside zone. Kazuya Taguchi, look at him jump right to the side. And into that third outside zone. Kazuya, the up garage ISR, 86, doesn't get all the way out there, and then just barely does towards the end. Your thoughts? Taguchi's coming. Matt Field, let's go that handbrake. Ready to throw down. Kazuya Taguchi out front. Matt Field in the chase position. Look at that right there. There goes Matt Field sticking it to the door of that 86. Now transition, letting him go just a little bit, allowing him to transition. Now in that third outside zone. Wow, Kazuya Taguchi barely just gets into the dirt at the end of the outside zone. And then both of them get in the outside zone four. So uh, Matt Field taking a lot of momentum from yeah, Seattle. We've seen in qualifying, had to go grab one of those final three spots, seven spots, as Matt Field now comes in. Using all the course, gets out of the touch and go. But nice, good, even kill here. Nice angle from Matt Field. Kazuya Taguchi has to drop back in that up garage ISR 86. Now wrapping around that final front flip. Matt Field with some precision driving there. You know, I think Matt's playing a tempered approach here. You know, he, he, he knows that Kazuya qualified low. Maybe he's having some problems. He didn't go for them, though. So Ocon is hit. So uh, let's get him re-racked. That's a strike one against Kazuya Taguchi here in that start position. Now remember, Matt Field could pace Taguchi and leave the start line before they extinguish. And the chase car can't hit a cone as well. We saw that earlier. Just uh, that has no repercussions on a restart at all. Our current points leader, Matt Field, hopefully not letting this slip away. Kazuya Taguchi would love to play spoiler and shake things up as Osbo, Chelsea Denofa, Ryan Turk, they're all watching on. Kazuya Taguchi initiates. Let's see how Taguchi handles it. How does field? Taguchi slaps the base big time. Wall to wall by Taguchi. Matt Field, this is no pushover. Kazuya Taguchi finishes strong. ISR 86. Up garage is up on the wall as Alec Robbins Look at these guys tapping, getting into the wall. Alec Robbins dropping low. Not able to get to the side of Alec. And Kazuya continues on through the course. Alec Robbins does have that proximity, but he has his mistakes there on initiation. Now going to that final outside zone. There goes Kazuya Taguchi. Alec Robbins taking a shallow line. Taguchi comes out of the chicane. Finds himself up on the bank, up on the wall. Mohan lower, but now finds himself up top. As he shifts his way up, and now past that inside clip. Kazuya Taguchi, oh, Mohan goes deep. And Kazuya Taguchi, big angle, Mohan taps him. But Kazuya stays in it. Look at that, Kazuya Taguchi takes a nose to tail slap but stays on it. My, some, a lot of people I feel might be recording right now because they're watching before Here we go. Kyle Mohan, Kazuya Taguchi. 
Combo hand initiates. Kazuya Taguchi is body kit flapping in the wind. Mohan looking a lot more tidy out front. Kazuya Taguchi, he needs to make his presence felt. And now, one more outside zone for Mohan and Taguchi. Mohan, big angle there. Ryan, they got to pick Taguchi to the final four to go against Osbo. Kazuya Taguchi, Vaughn King Jr. Kazuya Taguchi initiated into the Big Bang. I'm telling you, Kazuya Taguchi, one to watch. And he is not going to let Vaughn King Jr.'s retirement get into his way. And now into that second outside zone. And look at that big angle from Kazuya Taguchi. Now to that last outside zone by Taguchi and Vaughn Kitten Jr. Bring it on around. Ryan Vaughn Kitten Jr. will be up front because he gets Taguchi in the chase position. And now here goes Vaughn. Now strategy did tire for the fourth Mustang RTR spec five. Kazuya Taguchi riding to Oh! Taguchi goes into the wall. Now Vaughn Kitten Jr. does need to complete the entirety of this run, and he will be going on into the final four. A couple more clips. We've got that inside clip and now outside zone. And Vaughn King Jr. will be finding himself in the final four. Getting on his retirement night. Ends up in the final four.